Orioles hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 146 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 174. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 146, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 122, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two runs or more. This game is in game danger, 75 degrees, 7 mile an hour winds blowing from the left to the right, and the 67% chance of rain in Baltimore. Crawford pitched once against the Orioles this year. Five innings, no runs, no earn. They lost 7-5, and he struck out six. Burns pitched once against the Red Sox. Seven innings, one run, one earn. They won 7-1, and he struck out six. And this is no bullshit. The last four starts for Burns, every time he's supposed to pitch, the rain follows him. I don't know what kind of good or bad omen that is, but seemingly it just keeps happening. Head-to-head, the Orioles are 6-4, the road team 6-4, the favorite is 6-4 on the money line. The favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half is 6-4. There have not been any one-run games in their last 10, so whether it's the favorite or the underdog, whomever is winning, is winning by multiple runs. The over is hitting their last four, the over is 5-4-1, and one, and the over 7.5 is 6-4. The, Oriole, the Red Sox will do the road team first, are, have lost uh, Crawford's last four starts. They are 1-4 and four in those starts. The under is 4-1 and one in those starts. Five and two-thirds innings pitched, 5.8 hits, three earned runs, 5.4 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, uh, 0.8 home runs, 93.6 pitches, 16.5 pitches per inning. He's given up a home run in his last two starts and in four out of his last five starts. For the Orioles, they've won Burns' last two starts. The over is hitting his last two starts, but the under is 3-2. and two. Six innings pitched, 5.6 hits, two runs, 1.8 of which were earned, 6.2 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, 0.2 home runs, 92.2 pitches, and 15.2 pitches per inning. The Red Sox are 2-2 two two in their last four. Nine runs, three runs, 14 runs, 11 runs. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in those games. The over is hitting their last two. Nine runs, uh, three runs and a loss. Two runs and a win, three runs and a loss, eight runs and a win today. For the Orioles, they're six and four in their last ten. The over is seven, two, and one, and they are five and one in their last six. Eight runs, five runs, fourteen runs, eleven runs, five runs and a win, four runs and a win, eleven runs and a win, three runs and a loss. Orioles with the money line, Orioles laying the runs in the over. That's provided that this game gets played. And either way, I think the Orioles will win. So I'm not gonna say it depends on the pitcher. I just think you'll get a more reasonable odds if Burns isn't on the mound. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.